The number one sport in Germany, football. More than 7 million people, and thus almost 9% of the German population, are members of one of approximately 24,300 football clubs. Sport is healthy and keeps you mentally fit, but of all things, the Germans' favourite sport might be harmful to the brain. It is true that footballers live an average of three years longer and die less often of a heart attack or lung cancer than the average population. However, a British study shows that more footballers die of neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia or Alzheimer's. A trigger could be playing headers. To investigate a possible negative influence, the medical school Hamburg, in cooperation with Hamburg Football Association, is conducting a study funded by the Federal Institute for Sports Science. The researchers, led by Professor Carsten Hollander, want to determine whether and how repeated headers lead to brain function changes, which could cause long-term damage. To do this, they are analysing eye movements, which can very sensitively indicate impairments in brain function. We know that concussion leads to altered eye movements. Female footballers are about to arrive here. They will conduct two training sessions here, one involving playing headers. After that, a measurement will take place and we will closely examine which eye movements could be altered. Dr. Matthias Temmen will measure with virtual reality glasses to show the players 3D video simulations. The glasses use eye tracking to analyze fast, reflexive eye movements. We measure the test subjects for about four minutes. The test persons look at different objects as they are told. Offensive player Luisa Hensel from the Hamburg club ETV Eimsbudel is participating in the experiment at the Hamburg Football Association with her 24 team colleagues. I'm very excited. I think we will now be well informed by the study and can perhaps also work a bit preventatively so that we as players will know whether the header is really so dangerous and whether there is somehow also a health risk for us. First, the eye movements of the female footballers are measured. After that, one group of the study completes a training session without headers and the other one trains headers. Afterward, the eye movements are examined a second time and we compare the measurements after the training sessions with those before the training sessions, so to speak, and can then determine any dependent deviations. After the second measurement, the test persons switch. Group 2 plays football and Group 1 trains headers. Coach Stefan Kerber sees a ban on training headers critical. You know about the subject matter somewhere, it could also be damaging, but the technical execution and the tension in the neck area and the excellent fixation and the timing of the incoming high ball, that is something that in any case will hopefully be preserved in the sport. With this study, a medical school Hamburg would like to add a piece of the puzzle to the understanding of the relevance of headers in football to minimize the health risk in the long term and to protect young athletes from possible late effects so that more than one million children and young people in Germany can continue to play football in a healthy way. <laughs>